ChatGPT just rolled out one of the most useful updates I've ever seen, and it's about data analysis. This right now, something that would take me two hours, I did in four minutes. Basically what they're letting you do now is they let you connect directly to Google Drive and pull in Google Drive documents like Google Sheets and interact with your data. Same with Microsoft OneDrive if you store your files there. Basically all I did was I gave it a document from my drive then I used a prompt and I'll share a bunch of prompts with you when it comes to data analysis here inside of ChatGPT. You need to use ChatGPT 4.0, the new version here that is gonna let you do this. I asked for a PowerPoint presentation. I opened up the PowerPoint here, the link that it gave me just downloaded this. I just used the AI designer here to make some alterations just to make things look nice, but it created all these different graphs for me and all this analysis here for me. And this maybe took me three to four minutes, right? The data analysis, creating these charts, all that was done with ChatGPT and it gave me this PowerPoint. Let me show you how it works. In their blog post, they basically said they made massive improvements when it comes to data analysis inside of ChatGPT. One of them is the ability to connect directly to your Google Drive and your Microsoft OneDrive. I use Google Drive here for my different documents. But before I had to download that onto my computer and then upload it into ChatGPT. Now it's just integrated as one seamless connection here. And it's improved a whole lot, this data analysis, especially when I used it to make charts, pie charts and things like that. It just wasn't that good. A lot of times I had to do a lot of manual review. So this is gonna save us a lot of time, work with tables in real time, so some of these I'm gonna show you in this video. Let me jump back to ChatGPT now. Now, in order to use this, you need to have the paid plan for ChatGPT. Right now, I only have it available in my Teams plan, but when I was reading this page, it says it will be available for ChatGPT Plus users too. So you don't have to have the Teams plan or the Enterprise plan. But if you do have one of these, by default, it's not gonna use anything you give to it to train its model. At least that's what it says in their privacy policy. And if you have the ChatGPT Plus option, you could actually opt out of training. So you could read at the bottom of this blog post that I'll include in the description more about this privacy and security option. And they also, if you go to your settings, the setting menu should have moved up here on the top right now. Mine is still on the bottom of my Teams plan, but the connected apps, you could also connect to them directly from here or from the little paperclip icon. So I'll go ahead and connect to Google Drive here on this account. And it's gonna ask for permission here. So you could actually see, edit, create, and delete specific Google Drive files from this Google Drive account. And previously I had connected it and you could just press disconnect here if you wanna disconnect from over here. Now that it's connected, if I press this clip icon, I could directly add from my Google Drive or I could connect other apps. Or I could just, like usual, upload from my computer. But I wanna show you this Google Drive integration here. And I got this sample data here that I wanna show you. I got this from Kaggle.com, which has a bunch of different data sets. So this is World Happiness Report. I'll select it over here. Let me go ahead and press select. Okay, it's gonna pull it over here. So just like before, you could give it a prompt to analyze a document. I'm gonna share with you a bunch of different prompts here and an entire prompt book. But if you ask it, what is this document? It's gonna use data analysis, it's gonna analyze it and it's far faster than ever before. This used to be a pretty slow process before, and it's gonna give me a full breakdown. It looks like it's creating a nice little table for me over here. Okay, so let me let this finish up. Now, let me pull up this document. I'll make this available on my website as well for free download, and you can be part of my newsletter. As part of that, I'll send you other free resources as well. But this one I had created basically to analyze different data sets. And it has other prompts when it comes to analyzing financial data, for example, and other things that you could do with this data analysis tool. So this is kind of worth a look. There's about 100 prompts here with this PDF on my website. So what I wanna do is, I'll take this one, for example, create 10 different visuals representing the different data sets. And I'll go ahead and paste that over here. This still has access, I have now connected it. So let's go ahead and look at what it's gonna create. It's gonna tell me the 10 things it's gonna create. Okay, that took about 20 seconds or so. And look at that. These are all the different charts. Wow, this is incredible. This used to do it, but it used to be nowhere as good, nowhere as detailed. A lot of issues every time I try to do it, it would give me all kinds of error messages. It would take far, far longer. This worked really, really fast to give me the full breakdown here. Let's try a few other prompts here from that prompt list. Okay, let's try this visual word cloud. Whoa, that one worked almost in real time here. 
and not bad it looks pretty good it's pretty accurate it's based on different countries here so the countries that are mentioned more often are showing up bigger like a typical word cloud okay let me just show you a couple more what's the key lesson from this data set and as usual this is going to give me a bullet point list but man this gpt 4.0 is just so much faster and it seems to just be so much more relevant here when it comes to data analysis so the combination of the new improvement they made to data analysis with how it works with gpt 4.0 it's a vast improvement another one can you clean this data set let's go ahead and test that out here to clean this up i'll need to perform the following steps so it's going to break down exactly what it's going to do and okay it's going to work summary of the cleanup these are the different things it did and it says now you could interact with the clean version of the data nice and let me give it this prompt create a presentation based on this data set let's see what we get here so right away it went to work it's giving us some text analyzing i'll create a presentation i'll start by generating the slides okay here's the link to the slideshow it's a download link let's go ahead and download it it's going to download it as a powerpoint document let's open this up okay here it is inside of powerpoint and here are the different charts is created for us but the nice thing is when you create a powerpoint you have an ai built into powerpoint it's called designer it's right up here if you click on it it's going to give you design ideas here to make things a lot easier to go ahead and create right so i just want to go ahead and start with this planner look i could go to my second slide and it remembers what it gave you before so it kind of continues that same theme so i could kind of pick one of these okay this one looks pretty good actually i like this one more let's go to the next slide oh this one looks really nice in this format and then with our charts over here I really like this kind of look, but there's a bunch more. You could do this one on top. You could do this one, right? So you just go through all these slides. Let's see. This made us 14 different slides. And with each one, I could kind of give it a, a different look. Let's see. Actually, this one. Oh, this one has a little bit of animation to it, too. So that's kind of nice. So you could go ahead and pick anything you want. Again, it's PowerPoint. So everything is customizable. But so far, I'm just using all the AI tools. I haven't done any manual customization at all i just use my prompt list my data set and powerpoint's ai designer over here now this time let me just show you one of the improvements they've made to data analysis this is not related to directly uploading from google drive but i'm just going to upload from my computer a csv file and one of my favorite prompts is can you segment this data and create a table so let me go ahead and add that prompt send it out this is a pretty large file by the way this has this many columns here and it has ton of rows yeah yeah <laughs> it has quite a bit of rows over here so let's see how it does okay it looks like it's going to work right away so it looks like it created the different tables here now it's populating the tables so the number of apps average rating total reviews this is breaking down everything that is in the app store here the summarized app store by genre and if you want to interact with any portion of this and ask it a follow-up question you could always highlight anything and you'll get this quote right here this is part of chat gpt but it comes in handy with this option and you could ask it more about the ratings so can you create a graph okay so then it turned just this user rating into a graph that we could use from here and you could do this with multiple different documents so if you just select control select shift select you could bring in multiple different documents from your Google Drive and I'll put them all over here. I'll have to check on the limit of these before it used to be 10 different files that we could upload. Okay, it looks like the max limit is still 10. So I try to upload 10 and it won't let me do more than 10. Now, the only thing I can access over here is working with tables in real time. So it says when you add a data set, ChatGPT will create an interactive table and it still won't let me create an interactive table in mine. But it says then you could view it in full screen and follow along to basically get recommended prompts to ask questions related to your data set. So this is really gonna be nice. I'll make a separate video as soon as I get access to this one. I think this is an interesting update. And because of all these updates, I'm also adding a whole new section related to data analysis right here to our ChatGPT mastery course, this advanced course. And this is, has all kinds of different things related to ChatGPT for more advanced users that use GPT-4. But if you're not familiar with our platform, we have an e-learning platform where you get access to over 20 different AI courses and we update them all the time. Right now with these new GPT updates, we're updating three or four different courses just in the next couple of weeks. So we make sure all our courses stay updated. And with this, if you go to our courses section, 
you get access to over 20 different courses, things that are not on YouTube. And a lot of these courses are created by me, but we have other presenters too that specialize in different parts of AI like creativity or content creation. So you get access to all of these for one low monthly price, but we do have a free trial too to make sure it's a good fit for you without any risk. So I'll link this below and you get access to all our courses and a community section as well. And you could learn more about that on our website. If you found this useful, please consider subscribing. I post these videos multiple times a week and I'll see you next time.